What's up everybody back from the Star Wars video and the future of Honkai Star Wars looks pretty damn nice, right? So as of right now, we currently have the Jade and Argenti banners are out right now. And the next banner, we're going to get a new version update with a few new characters that are coming out for the first time, right? And I'm not going to lie, Jade's kind of not it. I'm not going to lie, she's very uh, questionably... Um, mid for the most part i mean very very good pure fiction you know i'm not gonna knock on that right um i haven't seen too much of her moc and apocalypse shadow gameplay so i could be discrediting her a little bit but she doesn't look too crazy and you know the, the, the views for her are not you know that insane from what i've seen right and plus she's with argenti and argenti already wasn't the most like he's cool in the story don't get me wrong but I wouldn't say he's, you know, flying off the shelves, you know, so to speak. So, kind of a rough end to the patch, right? We started very strong with Firefly, and we're kind of going down a little bit, right? And next update, we're going back to the Leofu, and a lot of people aren't a huge fan of it. So, it kind of was a little scary with, like, oh, are we just going to have, like, this weird Star Wars drought where, like, you know, not even, like, in response to YouTube, like, oh, low views kind of stuff, like, is there not going to be that much hype around it? Is it just going to be like the hype's there just because it's Star Rail and not just because it's like a good update? However, we kind of went a little crazy. So if you don't know why I'm making this video, it's because we had a new um, Jade trailer, right? Or I should say um, a, a more of a 10 Stone Hearts trailer, right? It was the, um, I'm forgetting the name. I don't want to say it wrong. Myrid Celestia, right? that's that's definitely what it is yeah Myriad celestia trailer so it's like those super lower ones if you don't know what those are those are the ones where they have like the annihilation gang stuff like the really like oh you should probably put these in the actual game um i'm still a little upset about how like we can't see this unless you just are on like you know twitter youtube i don't know if you post on instagram but Besides me being annoyed with that, right? The average player who just plays the game does go on social media is not going to see it. Uh, very cool. So, really quickly, let's go over future characters and why you should be hyped for Honkai Star Wars. So, first things first, I think the biggest, like, hype character next update, definitely March 7th. A lot of people really love March. Uh, she is free, so that's also, like, a lot of hype around that. Like, Ratio got a lot of... I'm just going to say that clicks, for lack of a better word, just because he was free, so everyone's like, oh, what does he do? Is he good? Yada, yada. Uh, then we have Yunli. Also, I have no idea why every single photo here is a different size. It is what it is. I apologize. Uh, you have Yunli and Jakku. Jakku. I'm saying his name wrong. I apologize. I, I li like Names are so hard for me, right? I'm more of a faces kind of person, so if you tell me a name and I don't immediately remember it, I will not ever, never be able to pronounce it, right? But these are the next three characters we're getting, right? Uh, these were the drip markets that we've got. Um, once Jade banners leave in 16 days, 11 hours, so I'm recording this at least for me. Um, we're going to get Yun Lee, and then part two will be him. Uh, not too sure when we're going to march. I'm assuming the first part, just because it would not really make sense for there to be a story thing related to her, and then they not drop her, right? But we know these three characters, right? Then we have Sunday and Skrullium, who have yet to be playable. It's kind of obvious. They, they got to be playable. Like, Sunday has to be playable. I know it's like, oh, well, Kokolio is not playable. Uh, so Sunday shouldn't be because Sunday is a boss, right? We technically don't fight actual Sunday, like the model, right? Um, it's kind of like how we fight Kokolia as the actual Kokolia boss. We fight Yan, uh, Yanqing. Yeah, I, I was willing to say, I almost wanted to say Jing Yun for some reason. Uh, but definitely they're definitely gonna be playable at some point so we have those to look forward to right then right since we had the live stream with jade and firefly we then got a bunch of new characters we got lynxia we got fixio i believe could be could be a very fast easy sub for me there because that line looks sick right Moe's definitely something i'm hoping five star summoning four star summoning i don't know who the four star is supposed to be but we got a lot of outlines of characters right this is also where we got the outline for march 7th and eventually they just posted it right so we easily went from like oh sunday screwlium and like who else are they gonna drop to just march 7th yun lee uh Jekyll. then we got lingxia fixio Moe's it like just drop drop and then this guy could also i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name because you know 
you see it on the screen, right? Uh, so we just had all these characters. So we went from a few characters to now we have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine potential playable characters. Well, three obviously are confirmed. We have nine characters. We know of all these characters. Plus, we have the Annihilation game, right? And obviously, Duke Inferno probably won't be playable, but his four kids could be playable. So now we have a giant selection of characters to choose from, right? I feel like a game is always more hype when it's like, oh, I don't really know who's coming out, you know, next. So it's like, okay, how am I going to be hype? When you have like 10 plus characters who you're like, okay, when are they coming out? Could be this character. I feel like it generates a lot more hype right plus the designs are absolutely sick so many people are going to absolutely wail for these characters but with the latest celestial trailer we got the 10 stone hearts they showed all of them right as you see there's topaz over here i don't remember all of their names i'm not gonna lie uh but there's three here then they should these three um maturing right i will definitely be selling for this dude right here his intro was sick and then we have i believe this is sapphire definitely going to be something for sapphire and obsidian on the right those three caught my eye got a seven and we have jade in the middle and then we have i believe his name is opal if i'm not mistaken they didn't show diamond since diamond's technically not a 10 stone heart he's like the leader right i'm sure diamond will also be summonable if if not probably like a boss right i assume if we ever visit a world centered around them wherever their like hub world is or their headquarters right but now we have seven other characters right because obviously we have three of them already playable so now we have right march in the jerko all right here so that's three characters upcoming four for sunday five scrolium six for lancia seven for Exio, a mose nine for him 10 11 skip me 12 13 14 15 16 17, 18, 19, 20. And then if you want to get technical, you can go 21, 22 for Duke Inferno. And then maybe like a Copium. This is just me. Uh, Cocolio boss or Cocolio character. Please, please. I would, I would summon instantly. Please come on, Hoyovers. But we have 20 plus characters that are like soft confirmed, right? Because obviously we technically might not get some of these characters as playable. But I feel like it's safe to say we, we will. Or at least we should if Hoyo decides they, you know, love or sorry, don't like money. Then I guess we won't get these characters. But I feel like eventually before the game shuts down, we're obviously going to get all these characters. It could be months, could be a couple of years before we get some of them. But we have a huge amount of characters to be hyped for. And I think that is extremely good for the game. Uh, obviously, not knowing everything is also good right so you get surprised i'm sure there's going to be updates where we have no idea who the character is kind of like an argenti situation especially because i'm assuming after little we're going to go to a new world and get new characters there's no way we get to even half of these guys before we get to the new world just because of how many characters there are but once we do we're going to be cooking we're going to be cooking uh let me know in the comments if you enjoy having all these characters to look forward to, uh, or do you enjoy just being in the dark and being like, oh, I know that like Yun Lee is the next patch and that's about it. Um, who are you most excited for out of this batch of, you know, the Annihilation Gang, the uh, the 10 Stone Hearts, I should say, not just the company, right? Um, if you look forward to the Sword Tournament characters, let me know in the comments. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next Hawkeye Star video.